just south of Chicago now, home to the worst drivers in the world, people who have no regard for the safety of their children or anyone else's. Thank you. Love you guys. <laughs> I'll fall so I steal or something in the freezer. <laughs> Yes, I mean, there was... They're combining a banana's birthday and then they're selling the house. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so as soon as the reunion's over, it goes up for sale on Monday. Like, I can pay for 120 and still have, you know, like 100. So, would, would you want to rent it? No, I, no, I mean, I was thinking, like, like I'm, the problem I have is our house in Utah now, like, the mortgage is so expensive each month. My point is, if we sold that house and I bought the house and ran tool and cheaper than our mortgage, Man, yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking outside the box a little bit, like the plumbing and... Have to fix it up a bit. Yeah, well, and I, you know, and they, you know, we have a really nice... Um, I mean, it's, it's not really about the interest rates, it's because the price was just so high, you know. You know, like, I don't know what you ended up having, the asking prices ended up going to for, like, either of the houses you guys dealt with down there, but... Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know. The, John just looked at an um, appraisal the other day, and ours went up 117000 just since we moved here. Wow. Now, now we're going to the house right now. I mean, I, I don't know. Like it beats the we paid six eighty for ours and now it's appraised at six forty, so <laughs> it is beautiful too, right? It's beautiful. Well and there's hardly any land, you know, I don't know. It's, it's just so expensive in Utah. I mean I didn't know it was, But your mountains and the view are so beautiful. We do have a great view. It's just, it's crazy, crazy expensive. Um, I mean, we did good on the one in Georgia. Like, yeah. So. That's good. If we could sell this one for, and get out without losing our skins, you know, like we could move back to the place there and I could just fly back once a month and it'd be way cheaper. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. What's that? Would, would you really want to do that, though? I, I, it's not that I would really want to. It's just I'm thinking, like, trying to think, like, economically. I mean, if I had, like, the extra four and a half thousand a month, you know, that's a lot of... A lot of cash. Yeah. So, just anywhere that you would look in the area in Utah where you are now, it's still... Good. Fed uh, rate cuts. You know, it doesn't need to go super low, but just, you know, back to where it was at the beginning of this year or something. Just back to me. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was, well, too, it was too low for a long time, from super low to super high, you know? Without having to do huge problems. Right. What do you think of DeSantis? Um, I think he is... Like I, you know, I, I think he's too unknown for me. Like I, I think if I had to pick, my first choice is Trump, just because he already, I know what's going to happen. And then my second mm -hmm. choice is that uh, Vivek Ramaswamy. Mm -hmm. The Vivek. No, yes. Or maybe running with. Uh, well, I, I don't think he stands a chance. I mean, like he's too, you know. Too young, he'd be the youngest whatever ever, and then he's also, I think he might be the youngest. A couple days after Trump, and they were going after Trump, and they were like, what What do you think? And he was basically like copying everything Trump said, and then like, they were, they were like, I'm giving you an opportunity here. You can say that you want Ukraine to win the war, and he would be fantastic, but it's not realistic. Mm. You, you know, like... Yeah. Like, I loved his answer, because he, he kept like... Like he was saying, he was like, I just think we need to broker peace and get it done. You know, like, and, and, and like he kept like pushing, like, basically says, um, you know, like, he was like, you know, like, I, I think, you know, 
Trump's position on the abortion is not strong enough. You, you know, like, like he's very, he's very, very far right. Vivek is. Okay. But, uh, and then, you know, like DeSantos, he, he has gone after DeSantos just a little bit. And that's one of the thoughts. I mean, like, you, you know, basically. Yeah. He, he does seem to just take on and things that he shouldn't. Yeah. But I, I don't, I don't know anything about DeSantos and I, I don't like that the, like certain people are so excited about him. You know, kind of that. We, we have some friends in Florida and they absolutely love him, of course, because he's, you know, good governor. True. Trump doesn't have to, you know, worry about, like, the campaign fundraisers. And, I mean, that's the other thing. Like, in this particular situation, like, Trump's going to kind of contest, it? I, I don't know. I wish he would have kept his mouth shut with some of the stuff. Yeah, he would have Yeah, so he's already kind of shot himself in the foot. He just shouldn't have, Trump just shouldn't have said anything until, like, the primary, the primary started. That's true. That's true. He can't stop himself. That scene in Town Hall, he did really, he should have just gone radio silent. There you go. Like that. So, I I mean, I would have just, after that scene in Town Hall, he should have just not said anything. And the media talking about DeSantos, they're not talking about a positive, so. And then going back and forth the whole bunch with that moderator, a lot of ignored everything she said, let her get her words in, and then just continued talking about what he was saying. Oh, goodness. I don't even know where I am. Somewhere. <laughs> did you guys, when you used to come here, did, was it, were you flying into Chicago and driving all the way down to Rantoul? A little, a little airport. I can't remember down where. Bloomington? Was this Bloomington, is that where it was? I'm sure. Okay. No, I, I remember going um, with, with men, you know, several times, but I can't remember where it was. It was on a small on airplane. Okay. Yeah. Well, we are on... Mantle doesn't have an airport. No. Oh. no. Campaign? No. They've got to have something, you would think, for that college town. I don't know. Looks like there was years ago. But we are, yeah, in the middle of nowhere, it looks like. <laughs> it's hot? No. But it's 55 more miles to Rantoul. Oh, did you almost <laughs> What did you do with the anchor? Uh, he's staying, or the neighbors are kind of watching them. I guess they, the good thing is they had two house showings today, so they just went over to our house with winter. They're selling their house. They own it. Yeah. But the more are they moving? They yeah. Yeah. She's eating and she's, you know, she's not as happy. No, we're guys. Love you too, too. Thanks so much for calling and tell everybody hi for us and give your grandma a big hug for us. Happy birthday. Yeah. We will. Yep. Love you. Alright, you guys be careful. Love you too, sweetie. Love you all. Talk to you later. Bye bye. I wouldn't call it better. I, you know, it's different, but it's, you know, mom, your mom. It's a nice nursing home here. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, much better than the one that she went to temporarily in Paxton. So, or this is where she wanted to come, and this is where we wanted her to be Saturday. Oh, okay. So, so we're, yeah. We're, so uh, I said check recorded, and uh-huh. I'm going okay. When you come to pick me up, so yep. you guys can come see her. We'll go see her great. first, and then then we'll. Tell her yes. we're going to Rural King, and she'll be excited about that for us to go to Rural King. So yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, I mean you can leave her whenever you're ready. Just say bye, Dean. Well, I'll no, see you in a few hours. You know, she always um, talks about Rural King. Like, it's gonna be here on Saturday, but maybe I don't know. That's a question for Brenda. 
I don't know. I know yeah. Casey and her family will be here. Stevie and her family will be here tomorrow night. I think Heather will be here tomorrow night. What about? And then be here tomorrow night. I mean, if it were me coming from Atlanta, I'd probably take two days just because I wouldn't want to drive with my back for 10 hours, you know. I gotcha. Will you guys have a safe drive? Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. Is there any yes, place... Are you out of that? Is there any place to, like... I, I don't know what we're doing. Did you guys already eat? Yeah, it's 8.30. Yeah. 